Hi there, welcome back to my channel Investment My Set. Today I would like to share one stock analysis which I have uncovered based on both technical and fundamental analysis. The name of this stock is Comfort Gloves Ticker Comfort Trading on Bursa Malaysia. Firstly, allow me to share some background on this counter. Comfort Gloves Berhad is an investment holding company, manufactures and trades in latex gloves in Malaysia, the United States, Asia, Europe, Canada and internationally. It operates through manufacturing, investment holding, trading and other segments. The company offers natural rubber, neutral and specialty gloves and provides management services. It also exports its product. The company was formerly known as Integrated Rubber Corporation Berhad and changed its names to Comfort Gloves Berhad in August 2015. Comfort Gloves Berhad was incorporated in 1937. Comfort Gloves Berhad was incorporated in 1937 and is based in Taiping, Malaysia. Currently, it has about 1,700 employees, and its group CEO's name is Mr. Lau Ju Yong. Mr. Lau Ju Yong is pretty young at 34 years old, and he served as group chief executive officer at Comfort Gloves Berhad since March 31, 2021. He has been executive director of Integrated Rubber Corporation Berhad since September 9, 2014. Currently, his father. Mr. Lau Ju Eng is still the executive chairman at Comfort Gloves Berhad. Like every gloves counter trading on Malaysia, Comfort Gloves stock price is also not spared. Looking at its monthly time frame chart, Comfort Gloves stocks has been heading south since September 2020 after hitting an all-time high of 7 ringgit and 28 cents in the month of August 2020. Thereafter, comfort stock price has been retracing down rather continuously, and fast forward to today, comfort stock is currently trading at the last closing price of 38.5 cents. Imagine from an all-time high of 7 ringgit and 28 cents back in September 2020, and now May 2023, almost after two years and eight months, comfort stock price has since crashed by a total of 94.7 percent. Oh my God! And that, and at current last traded price of 38.5 cents, it is even lower than during the COVID outbreak back in March 2020. If we are to zoom out, we could see that at this current price, it is definitely a new low thus far. And if we are to look at it closely, the recent three months, we could see comfort stock price seems to be consolidating, with smaller doji candles formed for continuous three months. Many stock that I have started usually when it hit an all-time low, and doing basing in this way, 80% likelihood. This stock price is consolidating to gain momentum to surge higher to the upside. So, will comfort stock be one of them too? Now, when I look at its weekly time frame chart, I could see more clearly that comfort stock price is indeed forming a bull flag in order to gain momentum to the upside. We could see over here where comfort stock price consolidated for three weeks since 25 April this year, and finally on the fourth week. It broke out from a low of 38 cents to a high of 43.5 cents before pulling back down to form a mirror candle on the following week. And at the current week, we could see that the candle seems to be forming a doji again. Doji usually indicate a reversal point, but again, never a 100% indication. Now, when I look at its daily chart, we could see clearly that today comfort stocks close with a doji. Which again might be indicating a reversal in its trend, and see how the price touched the red line which I draw over here. With the earnings result just out on 22nd May recently, the next earning date would only be about three months away, and I am now more at ease to enter into a new position into comfort stock. So based on the technical analysis today, I have started a small position into comfort glove stock. Even though the probability of comfort stock to surge higher from the current level is on the higher side, there is no stopping that this stock may still go down lower from here to form a mini double bottom at the at the seventh cent or even further down to thirty five cent to form a bigger double bottom. 
though the chances of this occurring is on the limited side, but the probability is still there, and this is something we have to always bear in mind. The target upside on this trade will be first at around 43 to 44 cents, and if comfort stock is able to break through this resistance, then the second upside price will be at around 52 cents and then at 56 cents. Depending on how the overall stock market behave by then, I will exit accordingly and as usual, I shall post my exit trades live on both my FB and IG. Now that we are done with the technical analysis, I have also looked into this stock fundamental. To me, since the stock market is behaving so volatile nowadays, it would be good if I could combine my technical analysis trade with its fundamental. This way, should the market take longer to work out as per the technical analysis, at least I have no worry to hold on to the position longer like what had happened with my other trades lately. Usually when it comes to fundamental analysis on the stock, I would look at a few important criteria. Firstly would be its working capital. That is, I must make sure the stock has adequate current assets to cover its current liabilities. The current ratio must be minimum 1.5 times to 2 times. For comfort stock, its current ratio is now sitting at around 5.1 times. Though it is good to be above 2 times, but at 5.1 times, I would also think that the comfort management may be overly conservative in managing its working capital and could have an overly excess in resources which could have been better invested elsewhere. So I would say in this instance, even though Comfort Gloves perhaps has more than adequate working capital, the drawback is that it may not be optimizing its current asset in generating more returns. So I would give a neutral on this one. The second criteria I would want to see that Comfort Gloves perhaps is having a declining debt to equity ratio. As we could see on the diagram over here, its debt to equity ratio has been declining over the years. As of 31st March this year, Comfort Gloves per heart debt over equity ratio is at 0 0.06 times, which is less than 1. A debt equity ratio of 1 is considered ideal. Less than 1 is not bad, but more than 2 would be very risky, especially in a growing financing interest rate environment like now. With less than 1, this implies that Comfort Gloves per heart is a lower risk company as the company is utilizing lesser leverage on its operation and this is crucial when you are operating under the recent continuous headwinds on the gloves industry. So I would give a take on this criteria. The third criteria would be its price to sales ratio since Comfort Gloves per heart has not been profitable in the recent 2 years. At the current market cap comfort stock is trading, the price to sale ratio is only at a low of 0.38 times. Price to sale ratio of under 1 indicate undervalued. So from this ratio, we may infer that comfort gloves is currently undervalued at current price. And when we compare its price to sales ratio versus its peers of the same sector, we could see that the peers average command a ratio of 1.7 times which indicate that comfort stock is a good value based on its price to sales ratio of 0.38 times compared to the peer average of 1.7 times and so this would be a tick as well. The fourth criteria, I would be looking at the price to book value ratio. At current price, comfort gloves is trading at 38.5 cents over its book value per share of 1 ringgit and 49 cents we could see that comfort is trading at a low of 0.27 times, that is under 1. This means currently the market only values comfort gloves per heart which has a book value of 1 ringgit and 49 cents per share as of end December 2022 balance sheet to be only at 38.5 cents per share. Usually when the market perceives a company to be less favorable in the future, then it would value the stock way below its book value. But I have to say at current ratio of 0 0.27 times this is way way under and in my humble opinion comfort gloves may also pose to be an attractive candidate for bigger company to take over at such a huge discount. So this is clearly another uptake for me.
So out of the four fundamental criteria, Comfort Glows Berhad has passed us three and with one neutral. But combined with the technical analysis which is showing an 80% higher probability play, I have decided that I am more than okay to start a position into Comfort Glows Berhad. So this is my train of thoughts in analysing Comfort Glows Berhad. Though I know that my recent analysis of stock trades has not been playing out well, to me, I'm going to continue to learn from each trade, whether be it a winning or a losing trade, as I have decided to be a stock trader and investor for a lifetime. So if you have any views on this talk or if you have also started a position on the covered glove, I would welcome any of you to share your comment and view with us over here. Let us connect and grow together. Lastly, Never go all in into one single trade no matter how high a commission we have on that investment or trade and always do our own due diligence before we enter into any investment. Bye for now and may the good Lord bless you and your family abundantly.